hey guys, Warm here, and I finally completed heavy tank number 12, which requires you to do three, three times uh, blocking of your HP, as well as do 3000 damage. And reading on the forums, everybody said that the, this VK uh, 1001P is the uh, is the best uh, best tank to do it, the easiest tank to do it. Um, so I think this was probably my fifth or sixth game trying to to do this today, and uh, finally came came really close a couple times. Was able to do 6,000, you know, plus damage blocked but couldn't get the 3,000 damage as well at the same time and as you'll see in the I post in the chat that I'm you know I'm not feeling too great about doing it on this matchup just because you'll see it's tier 10 game a lot of TDs which have a lot more penetration a lot more you know, alpha damage typically um, but yeah mostly better penetration which doesn't really help when you're trying to block damage so I make the conscious choice to not go to where the typically the heavy you know the heavy TDs go um, and I go to this other side to hopefully fight you know lower tier mediums maybe maybe some lower tier heavies you know my tier that's what I'm hoping to do going to this side uh, few things uh, you'll notice um, I think my equipment setup is the turbo the rotation to more easily you know rearrange my tank just in case I need to block something make it more difficult for the enemies to penetrate my tank and then uh, I think I do have uh, rammer to, to deal out the damage because the last time that I did it I was able to get the blocking, but I couldn't get 3,000 damage, so you also have to be able to put out um, deal damage as well. You can't just sit there and, you know, bounce. Um, obviously, the, the 6,000 blocking is probably the most difficult, I would say. Um, but the damage, if you forget about that, will, will also not be the, the, the completion. So here I'm facing off against this IS-22. You'll notice that I <laughs> purposely shoot above him to get him to get more confident to shoot me. But unfortunately he's just shooting at our uh, Kampanonen Jagdpanzer, who kind of took up a very aggressive position. So I realized, alright, I need to try to help out my Kampanonen Jagdpanzer because you don't want to lose a flank too quickly. That also results in the game being too quickly won or lost and you won't do the, do the mission either so luckily this grill in the back is firing regular ammo and it is uh, bouncing off my cupola so already you know a fourth of the way there almost a third of the way there actually and another great block another another block from the grill the grill is really helping me out uh, and here I'm thinking, all right, do I need to move forward? But no, I'm just going to be patient here. Hopefully get another bounce from that gorilla. I really need him to, to bounce off me. And then you'll notice I'm going to shoot above this guy to hopefully get him to, to shoot me. And you, you notice that he's aiming for my cabola. So I tried to point my gun to block a little bit. And then another TD, uh, the Polish. Kalana moves up. One interesting thing about the Polish tanks is the um, the new mechanic, which is they get higher alpha damage the closer they are. Um, however, what I noticed is that if you bounce their say they're you know they're really far away, like 400, 500 meters, they will typically only if they do penetrate you, they'll only do like 200 damage to you, 300, 200 damage. But their alpha damage is potential alpha damage is like 700 if they're like 50 meters away they will still uh, reward you with 700 blocked if you even if they're that far away it doesn't take that into the calculation so that's one great thing about those things i guess if you can, you can 
bounce their rounds because they're typically lower caliber as well. So here I'm noticing that they're pushing up. There, um, it showed that it was red, it was green, but um, in game that was actually it was orange. So I decided to aim more carefully at the cola. And here I noticed that the grill and the um, prototype are getting more confident. And, and right now I'm just trying not to die. <laughs> Um, because I know if, if I take another shot, say from the gorilla, I'm going to be a one shot and then they're going to just load gold or, you know, just try to kill me real quick. So I want to try to prolong the game as much as possible. Here I'm, I'm thinking, all right, I really need to get the blocking now. I need this guy to, to shoot and bounce off me. But I also need some damage as I only have 900 damage right now. Game is developing around me. Uh, two great blocks, another 700, another seven. You notice there. Although he's like that, well, he that's not a really good example. But he bounced. He probably would have done 700 if he's this close. But you are rewarded with the uh, full, um, the full amount of potential damage that they would have done. So there, I was able to get the 6,000 the three times blocking. So you'll see me. Be a little bit more aggressive to, to to get the get some more damage. Poking on the gorilla to, to get some more damage, and there I I heard him shoot. And I actually at the time I thought the the uh, Kalana was still alive. I didn't see him get blind fired. Um, and so I'm moving up here. And also I think there's something wrong with the. Um, with my mod because you'll notice here on the right there's um like there's an outline on the map of where tanks die but there is no outline of the Kalana. I believe that the uh, I still haven't added the Polish tanks into I think or well, maybe I'm just not seeing, not seeing things. Um, is it there? I think it might be there actually. I'm just going. I think it's just my. Yeah, I know it's there. I just couldn't see it. Um, but here, the Progetto and the E90 going after this Bosch. I was getting a bit worried about the damage. I still need 1300 damage to do the mission. Here, are my indecisiveness of whether to go up the hill, decide against it. I'm, ho I'm hoping that the Bosch B can actually, you know survive a little bit I'm hoping that the TDP gets you know killed I'm praying that the because um, right now I need 1300 and I'm hoping that the compounds are in the stirb are full HP and I hope that they're not too far away because the tanks that are with me they're pretty much all faster than me so now it's a, a race for damage thinking all right which where would I be if I'm a stir and of course he's you know, in the back of the map and at the time of the replay that that was not green it was like showing like orange or red so another another block there trying to aim for the cola trying to aim for the side probably should be switching to AP as those uh, have a better normalization angle, angle. but I, I guess here is where having the higher caliber gun would probably be beneficial because you can more over more likely overmatch. Um, I'm not sure what the exact caliber of the of the other gun is, but I'm also using the. Uh, smaller gun. And not, I'm not using the 440 alpha gun. I'm using the 320 alpha gun to get more DPM and hopefully deal more damage quickly. Um, also, a small thing to note is that the smaller gun also improves your turret traverse speed, so that could also help you potentially bounce um, incoming shells, uh, where you can turn your turret, bait people to shooting. You know, missing your cola at a different angle and, and bouncing. 
So I will note that. So here I'm praying I just need three shots into this into this Kampanzer. It shows green, but it was actually orange at the time. So I'm just taking care to aim. So there's one. You see the whole re behind me. Luckily he bounces. I get two. And I'm just praying that the whole re does not um, finish him off. Luckily he has the smaller gun. And he turns and I barely, barely get the 3000 damage. That last shot was was critical, and luckily the Hori too was, uh, I believe, um, stock. So yeah, let's uh, let's review the post game. All right, we're here in the post game. I'm not sure why I am not able to upload into Watt replays anymore. Um, so I just found this alternative Watt Records site. Um, you see, this is mostly from using personal reserve and a uh, premium time that I had uh, actually got extra extra premium days because of completing this mission um, but yeah we can see we got a steel wall this is an ace tanker this is the Kilana the uh, Polish tank they haven't <laughs> this this site is sold they haven't even um, updated to the new tanks um, but yeah we got top of the team most amount of experience um, 26 shots fired, uh, 10, <laughs> 10 penetrations. <laughs> a lot of that was just shooting in the air. Um, but yeah, 7,500 blocked in a 10 minute game. Not bad. Also still made credits cause I was shooting standard ammo to, cause if you start shooting premium, then they might also start shooting premium and then you're not going to block anything. So that was my kind of thinking there, psychology behind that. But yeah, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and uh, yeah, take care.